Elon Musk has been pitching the idea of Starship for several years. At first, Starship was simply an animation that seemed completely unrealistic and unreasonable. But just last month, SpaceX successfully flew SN15 to 10 kilometers in altitude and landed the behemoth using their wacky belly flop maneuver. There's still a long way to go in terms of reaching orbit and eventually Mars, but as SpaceX checks off one checkbox after the other, the prospects of Starship are looking brighter every day. So here's how Starship may end up launching for just $87 per kilogram. Musk initially revealed his ambitious launch cost for Starship in November 2019, when he stated that Starship may fly for just $2 million per mission. And Elon's not just talking about Starship or the top half of the rocket. He means that the entire Starship system, including both Starship and Super Heavy, will launch for $2 million per mission. With a payload capacity of 100 metric tons, that works out to just $20 per kilogram. To put that in perspective, according to Musk, it cost SpaceX $15 million to launch a reused Falcon 9. With a payload capacity of 22.8 metric tons, this means that the Falcon 9 costs about $658 per kilogram. While impressive in its own right, that's not even close to $20 per kilogram. So how does SpaceX plan to reduce the cost 30-fold? Well, the first major factor going for Starship is its full reusability. Falcon 9 is often praised for its reusable boosters, but Falcon 9 itself is actually not fully reusable. For every Falcon 9 launch, SpaceX has to manufacture a new upper stage from scratch, and this is where the majority of the money goes. Elon claims that constructing a new upper stage costs $10 million, meaning that two-thirds of the cost of reusing a Falcon 9 is simply constructing a new upper stage. As for the remaining $5 million, a significant portion of this money goes towards refurbishing the Falcon 9 fairings. SpaceX has been trying to catch the fairings falling from space using a couple of ships, but the success rate has been very low at less than 20%. So, in April, SpaceX actually gave up on the effort and simply settled with fishing the fairings out of the water. The problem with this plan though is that salt water corrodes the fairings, which leads to a long and expensive refurbishment process. Manufacturing new fairings costs $5 to $6 million. If we say that refurbishing them only costs 10% of that, we get about $500,000 refurbished fairings. This leaves us with $4.5 million, out of which $250,000 goes towards refurbishing the booster itself and $200,000 goes towards fuel. This means that about $4 million goes towards logistics, operational costs, and everything else involved in launching Falcon 9. Given that Starship will be fully reusable, we are able to cut out the expensive costs of manufacturing new Stage 2s and refurbishing the booster. Starship is significantly larger than Falcon 9 though, so we'll say that refurbishing the rocket costs twice as much at $500,000. What about Starship's fuel though? The rocket is way bigger than Falcon 9, so it'll consume more fuel, right? Well, it would if it used the same engines as Falcon 9. But Starship is actually using much more advanced Raptor engines. Each Raptor engine is estimated to cost $20 per kilonewton of force per flight. For comparison, each Merlin engine, which is what is used in the Falcon 9, costs $117 per kilonewton per flight. So Raptor engines are about six times as cost efficient as Merlin engines. Elon Musk claims that getting the Starship system to orbit will only cost $900,000 in terms of fuel expenses. Adding that to the cost of refurbishing Starship, we get $1.4 million per launch. That still leaves the $4 million that SpaceX spends on logistics and the operational costs of Falcon 9. Unfortunately, these costs won't budge too much from transitioning to Starship. The logistics and operations involved in launching and refurbishing the Starship will be more efficient than the Falcon 9, as SpaceX won't have to fish out fairings and move around the components of Starship as much. But Starship is much larger, and all of those savings will likely just go into accounting for the size difference. So, we'll say that the miscellaneous costs of Starship remain the same as Falcon 9 at about $4 million per launch. Adding that to the refurbishment and fuel expenses, we get a total of $5.4 million per launch. That's the same as $54 per kilogram. It's not quite the $20 per kilogram that Musk was pitching, but it's very possible that SpaceX does get there with economies of scale. That's just the marginal cost of Starship though, meaning that that's how much it costs to launch a Starship after it's developed and built. Developing and building Starships, however, are not cheap by any means. So let's take a look at how much that might cost starting with research and development. Elon Musk claims that developing Starship will cost two to three billion dollars. Given the number of unscheduled disassemblies we've seen so far though, I think we should double that amount to six billion dollars. At today's launch rate, it would take forever for that investment to be worth it. SpaceX is already launching rockets more frequently than anyone else. 
but that still only comes out to about one launch every other week, or about 26 launches per year. If we were to say that the lifespan of the Starship program was 30 years, and that it completed 26 launches per year, we get a total of 780 launches throughout the program. That works out to $7.7 .7 million per launch, which is obviously very expensive. But SpaceX plans to launch Starship much more frequently than just once every other week. In fact, Musk wants to launch a Starship three times every single day. At that rate, Starship would complete 32,850 flights over 30 years. In this scenario, only $182,650 would be added to the cost of each flight, which is the same as $1.83 per kilogram of payload. Three flights per day is extremely ambitious though. I do think that rockets will be launched at that frequency eventually, but I'm not quite convinced that it'll happen with Starship. If it does, it likely won't be till the end of the Starship program. So, three flights per day would not be the average throughout the program. A more realistic outlook would be Starship starting off with the launch every other week, and then eventually building up to multiple flights per day after 20 years. This would mean that the average throughout the program would probably be closer to one flight per day. At that rate, Starships would complete 10,950 flights over 30 years. That works out to an R&D cost of about $550,000 per flight, or $5.50 per kilogram. Moving on, we have the construction cost of the Starships themselves. And this is actually a lot lower than you might expect because of a couple of factors. First of all, SpaceX ditched the aluminum and carbon composites generally used in rockets. Instead, SpaceX chose to use stainless steel on Starships, which is just a fraction of the cost. Elon claims that the stainless steel used on Starships only cost $3 per kilogram, while the carbon composites used on most rockets cost $200 per kilogram. Starship is expected to have 250 to 300 tons of dry mass. Not all of that is stainless steel, but if we assume it is for simplicity, we get about $600,000 worth of stainless steel per rocket. Aside from stainless steel, Starship is expected to have 6 Raptors, and Super Heavy is expected to have 30 Raptors. So, the Starship system will have a total of 36 Raptors. Each Raptor is expected to cost $2 million, meaning that the engines on Starship will cost a total of $72 million. If we say that the cost of labor, logistics, testing, operations, and everything else cost $28 million per Starship, each Starship would cost about $100 million to construct. Each Raptor is rated for 50 flights, but SpaceX plans to continue improving the Raptor and eventually get it up to hundreds of flights. What we'll likely see is Starship just completing a handful of flights before being retired for the first couple of years. After the first couple of years of launches, we'll likely see SpaceX build up to 10 to 20 flights per Starship before retirement. Between the 10 to 20 year mark, we'll likely see Starships complete dozens of flights before retirement. And it won't be till the 20 to 30 year mark that we see Starships complete hundreds of flights before being retired. So, we'll stay conservative and say that each Starship only lasts about 50 flights on average. This works out to $2 million per launch or $20 per kilogram of payload. Adding that to the material cost of each rocket, we get a total of $25.50 per kilogram. And finally, that leaves us with maintenance and repair costs. If we assume that the lifetime cost to maintain and repair a Starship is 25% of the cost to build one, we get a maintenance bill of $25 million. Spreading that over 50 flights, we get $500,000 per flight or $5 per kilogram. Combine that with the build cost and we get a total of $30.50 per kilogram. We'll add in another $2.50 to account for administrative and miscellaneous expenses. And that brings up our total fixed cost to $33 per kilogram. If we add that to our marginal cost of $54 per kilogram, we get an overall launch cost of $87 per kilogram. To put that in perspective, NASA's newest rocket space launch system is expected to cost a total of $2 billion per launch. That works out to a per kilogram cost of $28,571. At that rate, Starship only costs 0.3% of SLS. Even if Starship were to cost 100 times as much at $8,700 per kilogram, it would knock SLS out of the park. At the end of the day, Elon Musk has some pretty ambitious goals with Starship. SpaceX just completed the first fully successful high altitude flight test and Elon wants to conduct an orbital test by the end of this year. If Starship lives up to his ambitions, we may see Starship reach his target of $20 per kilogram near the end of the program. Even if it doesn't though, a more realistic average cost throughout the duration of the program is $87 per kilogram, which is still miles ahead of everyone else. But maybe I'm just being too optimistic. Do you guys think that Starship will eventually cost less than $100 per kilogram? Comment that down below. Also, drop a like if you guys can't wait for the orbital flight test. And of course, consider joining our Discord community to suggest future video ideas and consider subscribing to see more questions logically answered. But until then, I'm Hari, and I'll see you guys on the next one.